I know you want to get that big, fat, warm, juicy, analog sound in your digital studio. <laughs> What up, YouTube? This your boy, Wavy Wayne. That's right, we're gonna be talking about some big, fat, warm juiciness. <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. We talk about how we can get that classic analog warmth in a digital studio without any analog gear at all. And what am I talking about? Of course, UAD and its console. The UAD plugins, the UAD Unison technology, but mainly we're gonna focus on how I like to record my signals and what I do inside my UAD console app. When you purchase a universal audio, audio interface, it comes with something very unique. And, and, and that could be either the twin, the arrow, or uh, you know even one of the new X series, right? Uh, the whole line has this right now. Um, and that is the Unison preamp technology, right? No other interface that I know of uh, comes with some technology like this. But basically in a nutshell, what the Unison technology allows you to do is actually model your hardware to um, emulate classic preamps that you might find in, you know, old uh, uh, studios, you know, classic like Neves and uh, UA610 preamp and uh, the SSL uh, board. So all of those classic sounds, we can actually get them right here in the digital realm without going out and searching for this antiquated piece of technology. Another thing that comes with your UAD interface is this console app. Now the console app works as like a front end. Now for many of y'all, I'm sure you've never worked in a large format studio with an analog console, so you have no idea what the hell we talking about. But back in the day, <laughs> it's still going on today, a lot of people do this, um, you have an analog signal chain before going into your uh, DAW, whatever DAW that is, Pro Tools, of course, I hope. <laughs> um, but you have an analog signal chain that allows you to basically, uh, you know, treat your sound with your preamp, compression, maybe a little EQ, um, and then you go into your DAW. Um, a, a lot of us in our situations, if you have a more classic type of uh, interface like a Focusrite or something like that, then you don't have that luxury to actually do what I'm about to show you right here. But if you have the UAD, then you better be taking advantage of this Unison technology and this whole little front end system, all right? Now, imagine I'm in a big classic studio, maybe quiet studios up in New York, um, and I'm using the SSL desk, right? Um, I can and actually, you know, uh, use the SSL preamp to get that classic warm preamp sound, maybe route into a LA 2 way or something like that, um, and then take that signal and route it into Pro Tools. Well, what the console app here does for you, it basically allows you to emulate that same process. The console app acts as a real analog console, except it's, it's in a digital form. And this is gonna allow you to treat your signals with a preamp, you know, a compression or EQ before going into Pro Tools. This is gonna make your mixing a whole lot easier. It's gonna simplify what you have to do after the fact. So if I'm already, you know, uh, going in with a good, clean, strong signal that I've compressed a little bit, then it's gonna be a whole lot easier for me to mix and I don't have to worry about doing so much later, okay? Um, and your chain can vary depending on what your style is and what the uh, artist uh, uh, prefers or the sound that you're looking for. You may want to experiment with different uh, types of um, uh, plugins on your console. So let's just take a look at a classic chain and how I would set that up. All right. So simply when you open up the console app, uh, the, the channels will be arranged according to however many inputs and outputs, whatever. I'm using the Apollo X6 uh, audio interface that you might have saw me unboxing on a earlier video. Um, but basically, what the Unison, uh, the Unison preamps right here is where you would, right where it says Unison, this is where you would apply your preamp. This is not just a, something that's changing in the software when you actually apply a Unison preamp. The Unison preamp actually changes the hardware to model uh, the, the exact uh, hardware that your signal would have been in if it was that real preamp. So if I choose a Neve uh, preamp here, then my hardware will adapt itself and change its impedance and other things like that to model what that of that need would have been, all right? So um, I'm just gonna go right here to my Unison preamp. 
Yeah, let's see. Let's go with the um, 1073. Cool. So here's my Neve uh, 1073 Pre, right? And basically, this is where I have my control. Now, of course, you still have the same control on whatever the interface. So if you're rocking with Apollo Twin, you can still change the gain there. Um, now, one thing that you will notice is that um, that little ring around your interface, right? If it's lit orange, that means that you are using a um, Unison preamp. If it's green, then that means you're just using the standard uh, UAD preamps, which are clean, still really great preamps but using this unison technology just ups the game a little bit more so uh this need 1073 preamp i have my my gain control my mic level here everything that i need to set i got my eqs and filters if i need to adjust those um one thing i will warn you about especially um for all of my new cats out there when you are recording Limit how much EQ you're doing. Limit how much uh, compression you're doing for real it's until you really have a firm grip on that, okay? If you record signals in that have already been EQ'd and compressed, you can't undo that, all right? Now, I have been recording for years, so I know exactly the sound I'm looking for, and I'm comfortable with setting certain settings. Now, honestly, I've never been a guy who has really recorded with EQ. Um, I, I always record with compression, though. Um, the most EQ I'll do is a filter, a low, a high pass filter if necessary. But most of the time I don't even bother with that. I'd rather do that in post. All right. So here it is. Here's my 1073 preamp. Again, I set my level. You can also adjust the level on your gear without changing it here. And that, I really like that, how the software corresponds with the hardware. Um, and you can just turn your preamp up and down uh, very easily. Okay. Now, another great feature is the ability to actually add inserts into my signal chain before going into Pro Tools. And one classic insert that I like to use all the time, especially when I'm tracking vocals, it's going to be a LA-2A, okay? So um, you just go right and choose your, your dynamics and, you know, insert whichever plugin you like. Uh, but I like this LA-2A. It always just kind of makes this sound very big, warm, and it controls it a little bit, right? Gives me a lot more depth uh, to that sound. So I really like to put that on there. Now, keep in mind that as you are recording, this compressor is gonna be hidden, right? So when you are in your DAW, and I'm tracking here, let's see if I get a new audio track. While I'm tracking in my DAW, it's going to be important to constantly go back and forth between the UAD app, between the console app and Pro Tools, right? Especially in the beginning, because this is where I'm going to watch my levels, especially if you are doing um, compression, right? I want to be able to look at that compressor and make sure that it's not compressing too hard. I want to see that gain reduction meter and kind of look for that um, amount of attenuation that I'm getting. And typically when I'm recording in, if I'm using my LA-2A, I, I want to try to stay about that uh, 6 dB of, uh, of attenuation or gain reduction or maybe a little bit less, right? If I'm smacking in and going over that, a couple things can happen here with this LA-2A. I could even change the peak, turn the peak reduction down or actually turn the, imp, the uh, microphone preamp level down as well, all right? So uh, keep that in mind for sure. Um, often what I'll do, if, if you want a Mac, then the shortcut to switch between applications is command tab. And so I'll just hold command and tap tab to get to Pro Tools very easily. So boom, boom, boom. If you are on a uh, PC, get a Mac. <laughs> I'm just joking. If you're on a PC, I think it's, uh, what's that? If it's command tab, there's gonna be control tab on a PC, all right? So the same thing, but it's just a really fast way for you to be able to check both of these windows. Now, if you have a dual screen, then shout out to you. I gotta get another screen. That's why I need y'all to go to wavywayne.com so I can buy me a dual screen setup and I can have my console on one screen and my Pro Tools on another screen. So yeah, make sure y'all go cop some templates, cop y'all some of these Sauce Records shirts, some, you know, some of me, some, some wavy gear, that Be Dope sweatshirt. I seen a few of y'all copping that. Shout out to you. You feel me? All right. But yeah, <laughs> command tab is how we get back and forth between those. Now, I'm going to show you something else. You have the ability to just monitor uh, these effects, your inserts, 
or actually record them. Now you can see that mine is set to record because again, I'm comfortable. I know what the hell I'm doing. So I'm not just trying to hear this, right? I want to actually record and, and whatever I'm hearing is what I want to uh, <laughs> be recorded. So when I'm doing this here, I just go ahead and uh, keep it on uh, record. Now, if you're not too comfortable and you just kind of want to experiment, then you might want to just keep it on monitor for your insert effects so you can only hear them. But honestly, <clears throat> I don't even think that you will hear it the way that I have my UAD set up. Let me take this again one step further. So for those of y'all who have the UAD um, and you use your console app, then you know that um, if you don't have the track muted that you're working on, right? So I keep these muted in the console app. Now I could go to Pro Tools and use low latency mode while I'm recording, but I like to use like auto-tune and other stuff inside my Pro Tools. So I'd rather hear the sound that's coming out of Pro Tools instead of the sound that's coming out of um, the UAD console app. So that's totally up to you. If you, you know, and you read your UAD uh, literature and see what's going to work best for you. But for me, I always just keep the uh, tracks muted inside the console app and Pro Tools just, you know, this just works seamlessly. When you set this up here, you ain't really got to do too much to make it get into your, your Pro Tools system. If that audio interface is, um, is connected then when you just go to your input you know mic line one boom and i sign that mic line one I'm on my track then pro tools will automatically uh see that signal coming from my uad console and, and route it directly into my track on pro tools it's really that easy all right so again to to go over this you got your unison preamps uh where you can assign an actual preamp that will change uh the hardware to correspond um you can even hear it right you know, those of y'all that's working with uad you'll be able to hear it when you actually um insert a, a a uad unison preamp right and so that changes to changes your hardware to correspond you know certain stuff like impedance and a whole bunch of other parameters um that uad has worked out right that ain't for me i'm not the scientist i'm just the mixer i'm the artist okay um and then i also apply a little bit of light compression with my la2a and i really like that uh sound that i get from there um yeah so it's that's pretty much how i use my console app um and I, i'm always bouncing back and forth Again, make sure y'all hit up wavywayne.com so I can get my dual screen and I ain't got to do all this back and forth, man. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video today. If you found this helpful, make sure you thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, man. All right, so I can keep bringing y'all the top-notch content, um, you know, each and every week right here on the Wavy Way tip of the day, all right? Make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram. Uh, shout out to everybody who does follow me on Instagram, man. That's where you can see my day-to-day -day life. You can see how I'm in the studio. You see me chilling outside the studio sometimes. Um, but yeah, Instagram, follow me there. Make sure y'all hit up wavywayne.com. And don't forget, be dope.